Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to select elements in data frames, how to access elements by their locations or by their uh, indexes. Um, if you notice, uh, you know, uh, the data frame here is different uh, than the, you know, the one we used in the previous video or the one we used in the next video, then it's fine because I'm just re-recording this video for technical reasons. Um, let's have a look at, you know, our data immediately. Um, let's create our data import uh, pandas and have a look at our data frame. Uh, DF so we have the cities and ranks as usual and now we have uh, labeled um, uh, uh, rows and columns like the column names and the row labels and to be able to access a certain element by uh, its in integer index and always remember that indexing is zero based so the first element has index zero then I can use the iLock method if I have a look at the documentation this is a purely integer location based indexing for selection by position so we select things by position using integer integer uh, uh, indexes so I, if I say if I want the third element in the third row then I do df.ilock and then square brackets I pass it two so that's the third row and then two that's the third column so I expect to get 39 the third row and the third column that's 39 uh, likewise instead of i lock i can use the lock method and this is a label location based indexer for selection by label so now we have you know labels for the rows and columns and i'd like to say here uh, df.lock data frame dot lock row d column score one so row d um, row d column score one should be 41 notice here the way we pass the color the row labels and column names inside the same square brackets instead of having separate square brackets like we do here okay so this is the lock i lock unlock and then we have the at method which is a fast one this is it's label based but it's very fast so i can say give me the label at row a and column city so it's always row and then column um, and then we get Tripoli or I can say I at I can have a look at the documentation so there's se several ways of basically getting the same result this is a fast integer loca location scalar accessor so again uh, we pass it the row uh, index and the column index in their integer form so give me uh, the element at the second row and the first column which is here Sydney okay so the, the second row and the first column not in these ones, we always have the row and then the column, row, then column, row, then column, and then row, then column. And, you know, these functions can be used to update values inside the data frame, but that's something we explain in the next video. Uh, another interesting way of looking at things that uh, if we, for example, wanted to retrieve data in a specific column, all the values in there, I can say df with square brackets and then pass the column name as a string, and then if I wanted to get you know the value at row d then i pass that as uh, the second element okay so this is different than using the methods i look look at and i at here we are immediately accessing the elements and the first one we need to pass is the column uh, column uh, column name that's how data frames work in pandas um, and another interesting thing that uh, we can, uh, if we wanted to, you know, access all the elements using ranges, we can just do colon, and then we have all the elements, okay, all the rows and columns. And if we wanted to access specific columns, like for example, uh, columns from one to three, and notice this is a range, so the first uh, value is included, the second value, the end of the range is not included, it's open interval, and this will give me uh, column number one which is the second column column number two which is the third column and it will not give me column number three which is column of index three which is uh, the the fourth column okay so i'm sorry row not column it give me back only the second and the third row so row number one and row number two and it will not include row number three so here using this uh, uh form we are speaking about retrieving columns i'm sorry rows instead of columns i keep repeating this it's rows instead of columns, right? So using this, we get the rows back, not the columns, um, using this uh, for, for, for notation or format as well. And always bear in mind that when we access things uh, immediately, then we get the column first and then 
the row using the labels. And one interesting th thing here is that uh, we can also pass the index of that label, okay? We can also pass the index of that label, but if we pass the index of the column, then it complains. So we need to access the column specifically by uh, by its label, and then the, the row, we can pass it the index number, okay? So hope it makes sense. This is how to access elements, you know, in various ways. And bear in mind that we can update the values using these uh, methods, but that's explained in the coming videos. Let me stop here and I'll see you in the next video.